Welcome to the end of season two with Sunderland. And as you can see, the eagle eyed viewers amongst you, we have won the championship. We bested Newcastle United, beating them by eight points in the end, despite losing twice to them in the league this season, which was a little bit disappointing. But uh doesn't really matter. We got promoted. That was the aim. We managed to complete it and we've done it in some fine style. Newcastle do join us in promotions. They will be in the Premier League next season and another time where Derby will be had. Playoffs are still to be played. Likely Hoodies West Brom will be promoted, but as you know, the playoffs are a bit of a lottery. Sebastiano Esposito did end up finishing top goal scorer with 28 goals, and that's despite having a couple of injuries in there. He only started 32 games, so absolutely fantastic stuff by him. Highest average rating, Batista Maia comes second. Batista Maia with the highest amount of assists, with Ivan, our right back, coming in second with 15. Absolutely fantastic stuff in terms of next season we have already made some moves jack butland we have offered a contract to we'll be paying four and a half million pounds for him and i do anticipate him being our starting goalkeeper for next season i do need to try and get some english players just so we've got some um to avoid the foreign uh, player limit but so he will be coming in and being our starter we do already have of course sergio gomez joining the club on a free transfer from borussia dortmund he will be our starting attacking midfielder we have agreed a deal with Esposito to join us next season for another season-long loan. I did try and get an optional future fee involved, but Inter Milan weren't playing ball. So we're just going to have to try again at the end of next season to see if we can actually sign him permanently. Oliver Batista Maia will be joining us again on a season-long loan, but we do have a £3.5 million agreed fee with him. And I will probably be activating that in the summer. Should we have a little bit of money left lying around that we can afford just to sign him on a permanent basis. In terms of the rest of the squad, I'm not entirely sure who will end up being in our first 11 for the start of next season. There is not many positions where I'm incredibly happy about. Maybe Kalisa could be a starting centre-half for next season. I don't like his acceleration. But other than that, he's pretty well-rounded. So maybe in the efforts of saving some money, he will be one of our starters for next year. Dobson and Ballymumba are both players who are attracting interest from clubs who I would imagine would be willing to give me a decent fee for them. But uh, at least for them, at least for the time being, we'll pretend that we're going to keep them. Clark will be leaving, Anderson will be leaving, which leaves us some some big gaps in our squad. So Jack Butland will fill the goalkeeper spot ideally. Um, Sergio Gomez will fit our attacking midfield spot, but apart from that, right back, centre back, left back, right wing, we all need to find players for. Uh, left back, I'm hoping maybe Josh Tymon might be interested. Stoke City didn't get promoted this season, so he will still be in the championship. If he's available for a decent fee, I might end up making that move, but I don't have a right winger in mind. Uh, that, that is going to be a key thing for us to fill next season. Transfer budget-wise, we have £35 million to spend and £266,000 available in the wages, which is not great. We've only actually got a 550k wage budget for the entirety of our club, which Premier League standards is incredibly, incredibly low. But you can sort of understand why the board have done it. We are not a very rich club, minus £3 million balance right now. Um, it is anticipated it'll boost to plus £10 million once we get the Premier League money and stuff and prize money's coming in, but... We do need to keep an eye on our finances and make sure they are kept in check. But obviously Premier League football will massively help with that. In terms of the other cup competitions, then we did actually get to the quarter-final of the FA Cup. As you can see, beating Sheffield Wednesday Hull and Blackpool on our uh, venture through. But we did suffer a 1-0 defeat away from home against Tottenham Hotspur. We actually had a disallowed goal in the final few minutes of the game, which was hugely crushing. But it was a game we never deserved to be in in the first place. As you can see, Kieran O'Hara, before he conceded, was on like a 7.5 rating. So he had a very good game keeping us in it. We did reach the fourth round of the... Uh, or the third round or the fourth round? The fourth round of the League Cup. Not getting too far in that. Obviously, passing the board expectation of mid-table in the Championship was absolutely huge. And we've absolutely smashed through the five-year plan as well. So no doubt over the course of the summer, the board will come at me with a new five-year plan. Looking to develop the club culture a little bit more. But as things stand with the club culture, I'm relatively pleased with everything that they are asking of me to do. So we've got a huge summer transfer window ahead of us. Premier League football will be upon us. I know this isn't your, your man, but can we do pretty well in the league and maybe get above Barnsley? And um, that is the target. I think Huddersfield leads... Um, all the other sides, a bit, bit too much. Birmingham, 
definitely too much. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see how we get on. So if you have been missing the streams, hopefully now you are fully caught up and get yourself subscribed to catch the streams when they're live. I love it when you get involved, you get interacting. That's exactly why I do it. As you can see, our final bit of form at the back end of the season was absolutely phenomenal to confirm that uh, the league title West Brom were definitely chasing, just not quite good enough. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed, turn on the notification bell, and until next time, take it easy.